The following segment is sponsored by Utah Disaster Cleanup. As the weather gets colder and winter approaches, make sure your home is ready. Carrie with Utah Disaster Cleanup is here with tips to help us protect our homes from freezing temperatures. Carrie, great to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, I'm excited to talk about this because it is an important thing. It is. Now, when I think of winter and maybe going out of town, I always think of like, are my pipes going to freeze? Oh, is okay. this a real thing? It is a real thing. I'm gonna tell you two things that you need to remember. First, if you haven't done so already, disconnect your exterior garden hose this is the section of your pipe that is inside your home. Okay. Um, if you don't disconnect your garden hose, water that's trapped in here doesn't drain. It will freeze and break. I'm glad you're saying this because I'm thinking <laughs> of mine right now in my backyard. I haven't uh, done that. So that's a really good yes. idea. The other thing, if you're going out of town, um, don't turn your thermostat off. Don't, don't shut down your furnace. Okay. Um, what we see, I mean, there's nothing worse than coming home from a vacation and having a, a flooded ice castle. Right. You can turn <laughs> it down to 50 or 55 degrees, and if you want to do an extra precaution, go ahead and shut your main water off. Okay, so you can shut it off, but yes, just keep you your can. heat on. Just a keep little bit. Keep your heat on. Keep your heat on to at okay. least 50 or 55. That's a really good yeah. idea. Okay, yeah. what are other ways that water can get into our homes? Okay, so the idea, we want to keep winter where it belongs on the outside. Yes. So our, a good roof is designed to shed water in one direction, goes to our gutters, and it takes it away from the home. But if our gutters are full of leaves and pine needles and other debris, it just backs up and it works its way up the shingles and it finds its way into your home and, cre and can create a lot of issues. So you want to make sure those gutters and yes, everything are clean. Clean all the gutters out. Now's a good time. Okay. If, is, aside from that, are there anything, is there anything else we should be looking at? Yeah. So right now we are all in our storage rooms. We're all getting our Christmas decorations out. If, if your storage room looks like anything like mine, it's 80% <laughs> Christmas decorations. Yes. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I don't see the back corner of my storage room until I am decorating. So when I'm back there, I look for um, I look for water damage, floor, ceilings, uh, walls. If anything smells kind of funky, I address it now rather than wait. That's a very good point. Um, yeah. and what about fires? Because oh I know that's gosh. also danger yeah. with like our Christmas trees and Christmas lights. What are we Absolutely. not thinking about? Okay, there's a couple things. So lithium batteries, they are in, they are in a oh. lot of things. And they're awesome because they allow us to not go through so many AA batteries and all of this. But if you don't read the manufacturer's warnings, you overcharge them, they can short circuit and you'll have issues that way. Um, another thing that people don't um, think about, we get in a rush and we stick things in the microwave mm -hmm. and we forget about them. This is a therapy bag. I did Christmas decorations. My back is killing me. I can put this in the microwave for two minutes. It's gonna feel wonderful, but if I punch in an extra zero and I go for 20 minutes, whoops, it's the worst odor you can possibly imagine. Yeah. So, and can cause a lot of damage. So be so careful So make sure we're that. paying attention. Yes. When do we know we need to call you? At what point you is know, the disaster <laughs> that bad that we're like, okay, we need help? Most people know. Most people know when it's that bad, um, but if you're not sure, you can always call us. Okay. We have experts that are available all the time to talk through issues. We can sometimes give tips to help people Resolve it on their own, um, take care of it on your own, and we'll let you know when that's, you need us. That's amazing. You can go to the website on your screen for more information. Carrie, thank you so much for the info. Great to see you. Thank you.